Hello, hello and welcome back to a new tutorial. So finally I found the time to record some new stuff. And I decided to do a tutorial about skin displacement painting here in Mari. Because yeah, in the last video we combined together the XYZ displacement textures into one single image. And here I have a project on which I'm working on at the moment and I thought, hey, that's a good thing here or a good mesh to show how to use it. So first of all, we just want to have the skin here. So let's select it. Yeah, not just this piece there. Let's select the whole thing and isolate it. We just see the skin. And here we are. So to start, I have here the image manager where I already load in my textures. So it's actually pretty straightforward. I just have here the combined textures and drag and drop it into it. And I also have a tileable one here, which is from a pack there as well. It's this one here. So you have here a lot of this nice tileable, micro detailed, microsurface, whatever skin textures. So when they are here in the uh, image manager, just to make sure that they are here on scalar data because yeah we are only interested in the data which is stored there so when i start with painting displacement details i start with a darker diffuse color here a bit of roughness going on and in the shader itself i also have a bit of clear coat action here going on. Here I'm using the principal BRDF shader because I'm using Renderman later to render it. But you can use the Arnold shader, V-Ray shader, whatever you want. So, All right, so I have here a pretty nice template I made in the past. I think I will made it downloadable for free. So I will put the link into the description. I think I will put it on Gumroad so you can <laughs> scroll through my other products which I have there maybe you are interested there in some of the stuff but this one I will make it for free so let's go for import notes and I have it here in a folder where I have some useful collected notes so here's my skin displacement open it give it a moment to load all the notes in yeah, it takes a bit of time because yeah, it's loading it from my server. So, all right, so here we are. Let's maximize it. So we don't want to recreate it from scratch here. So I think it will blast the tutorial into Nirvana and to create everything from scratch. But a quick walkthrough is not a problem. So here I always start with a mid gray. I mean, we can look through it. Actually, let's hook it up here. So I'm using here the bump to display it and something which is super handy, you can go to the shader, Mari surface and put the bump weight to one. So you have a pretty nice uh, representation of the displacement stuff you're actually painting. So that's actually a cool and cheap hack to get the details displayed probably in the viewport with not that much of cost. So let's minimize it here again. So we are here and start with the mid gray. So it's always important to have it as your zero value. As you can see here, it's just a boring mid gray. So then I start with a generic tileable here. So we can load it in. So let's view here. Here the image manager. And that's a bit the downside of my UI. I didn't found a solution for that. So. We need to undock it here quickly and we can simply drag and drop here the image into it. And now put it here again on top. So now we can see here the tileable skin displacement texture. And here a bit of a levels just to grade them. I found that it's sometimes needed, but it's not always needed. So it's up to you if you want to use it or just disable it. Yeah, how to save kicking in, thank you. Yeah, load it. It's just a bit darker as my mid-gray, so I try to grade it a bit more to, towards the mid-gray value. 
So then we are going further. So I have made here a text ring XYZ unpacker. We can go quickly inside. So it's nothing special here. The stream which is going in, which you can see later when we paint with the actual textures, it will split it again here into the red, green and blue. And then we can fine tune the different uh, details from the displacement. But you will, you will see that later. And you can watch or deep dive into these notes on your own because yeah, you can download it for free. So here I have my hero paint and uh, this stream goes one, one time here in my XYZ displacement unpacker and this one will go into the bump just for the preview. And here we shuffle out the different uh, channels just to combine them again and export it as a combined texture later. So we can do the stuff which we are doing here in this one on render time. So that's actually pretty cool. So you don't have to jump back and forth to fine tune the stuff here and do a lot of exporting and stuff like that. So you can do that right in the render engine later. But enough blah blah. Let's have a look how this one looks like here when it's shaded. Let's go back here to view our shader. And that's where we are. Looks pretty not that decent and we can go here pretty easy for the amount uh, let's say maybe something like that maybe we want to have a bit more tiles let's go maybe four oh, not i have it already on 20 i wanted to type in 30. okay 30 here we go so here you can see a bit of texture stretching. So yeah, don't don't look at it. Don't don't look at this part here. As I say, don't look here. Look here on the nice part. <laughs> and when I have this base, so I always start with the base. I will come over to my hero painting, and the hero painting will give the actual nice details. So let's go here and start with the right cheek. So make sure you are on the paint node here and double check you are not here on luminance mode. That's something which I always run into it when I start with painting because yeah, I, I painted a mask and s or stuff like that. So let's maximize it here to see a bit better what we are doing. And now we can start with projection painting here. Let's look that we have the right scale. Now we can paint on it. Let's do a few strokes here. Bake it down. Give it a moment. Normally it's a bit faster. Why does it take so, so long? Don't care. Okay, now let's go back here. And now for the preview purpose, we can fine tune what we are viewing here. So here we can gain a bit more contrast. Let's go here back for the zero value. And let's have a look what this stuff is doing. Right now, this is just the base displacement which we are watching here. Now we can say, hey, how much bump um, details we want to have here on the texture. And let's say that's cool, but yeah, we want to have a bit more contrast. Let's go for minus star four. And here we need to do the exact same number, but in the positive value. So now we can see what you are doing. That's just the preview one. So it doesn't matter what, what you're typing in here. It doesn't affect the outputting uh, texture. So you can do whatever you want. I like to paint it a bit more contrasty so I can actually see what I'm doing. And here for the micro one, you can see it gets pretty rough so this one you have to be a bit careful otherwise it will yeah give you a bit of wrong values in the end and just for the preview of course let's say something like that is cool maybe maybe a tiny bit less maybe something like that okay cool so now let's go back here to our paint node bring in again our texture and now you can do <laughs> Happy painting the whole day. 
And let's grab here in this area. Don't care about the inside, you can see it anyway. Something you have to be uh, a bit aware about is you have to look how the direction of the skin details go. So I recommend to use as much as you can from your texture when it comes to covering the surface because yeah, because it's an actual scan, so it's consistent in its flow and the direction of the skin pores and stuff like that. So here we need to start painting a bit our own stuff. So you need to, to watch out that the, that the flow and the direction is going the right way. That's, that's actually a bit of, of back and forth, try and error. You will, you will find some spots in your texture which works well, which doesn't work that well. Often on the, on the cheeks you can, you can use the stuff a lot. And that's actually how I paint my, my skin textures. Nothing really crazy as you can see. Just be a bit aware of about the scale, so you can always have a look on the eyes, so you can see it here, the eyes going on. And this way you, you make sure that you're on the right scale amount. So here again, just look that it blends nicely. Bake it down. And yeah, that's how you can spend the whole day painting some skin displacement and you can go pretty close and you can see it looks it looks very decent. And that's actually the cool thing, so it's super lightweight. And yeah. <laughs> Don't know what to say <laughs> to say more. I mean, what we can do is now have a quick look on the channel separation which is going on. So we can watch here quickly through our dot node and see what we are painting here. So here you can see it has an alpha of zero, so we are only painting the stuff here. And then we can watch here through our look through here, the merge node to see it combined with the underlying um, tileable node. And here we can look through the different channels. So what we are doing here is the exa exact same what we are doing here inside. So we are splitting out the different displacement details which we stored in the, in the file. So there are different, different information in the different channels. So in the red one we have the displacement, in the uh, green one we have the, the bumpy, or yeah the bump information which we are using for the displacement as well and here in the blue one we have the super tiny details you can see here so together it looks again like that give it a moment it looks again like that and we are exporting that as as a file which is again combined together with this one here so you can see this stream is going here into the base it will live here in the red that's why it's displaying it in red but it's actually um, a grayscale in the end so it just takes the, the luminance values I guess don't want to say something wrong but yeah it works <laughs> it works I tested it and it works so yeah, I think I will do another video where we are hooking it up in uh, maybe Arnold or Renderman. I think Renderman because I'm learning Renderman at the moment, so why not do a bit of Renderman content? And yeah, as you can see, it's nothing really that crazy. I mean, if you want, you can also export here this stream, but then you have to be aware of the intensity you are going here because it affects the output you are actually doing and here you can see yeah maybe it's not that nice so we can go a bit bit down maybe that's a bit more realistic maybe we are a bit too much on the micro stuff that's really up to you yeah i'm using it here 
as I said 100 times now, just for preview purpose and not for outputting it. So I hope this video was learned for, for you. And as you know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask on our Discord. So we'll put the link into the video description as well or ask in the comments. I'm happy to answer there. And yeah, have fun with skin displacement painting and see you next time. Bye bye.